Tamara Robbins Griffith started her own interior design business during the pandemic to escape the rat race. So Pre-COVID, I had a corporate job with a really long commute. I was always the last mom picking my kids up from daycare, ordering food for dinner in the car on the way there. You know, there just wasn't a lot of flexibility. She says it wasn't an easy decision and starting her own company came with a lot of risk. But the reward is the flexibility she and her family needed. COVID forced me, like a lot of other people, to take that risk. It's like you have the golden handcuffs of those corporate benefits that can be really hard to let go of. Official stats on the number of people who've decided to become their own boss during the pandemic are hard to come by. What we know is that the number of new businesses that opened peaked in the summer of 2020 and entrepreneurship levels have remained strong for the start of this year. According to the latest jobs data from Statistics Canada, nearly a quarter million people are self employed and many of them are running their own business. The pandemic left Amy Lockwood, who's worked in kids media for years, jobless and without childcare. So she started making wooden toys for fun. I started using power tools and building things and I'm disabled myself. My son and I both have a genetic disorder that affects all our joints and all our connective tissue. Her dabbling led her to launch a line of toys designed to promote inclusion for people living with disabilities. She launched in November and hasn't looked back since. I sold out of all my toys uh, in less than 24 hours and recouped my initial investment in the first day. Being your own boss isn't for the faint of heart. It's a lot of work, but those who've made the leap say one of the biggest rewards is personal satisfaction that you just don't get from a regular nine to five. When you have that um, personal stake in the business, you're working hard for yourself, not some you know, global multinational to profit from it. And Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.